Good morning again. Please have a seat. If I could just see counsel briefly at the bench. Attorney Deedle. Uh, I'm sorry, no, you were done. Uh, Attorney Meyer. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, Mr. Russo, again, my name is John Meyer, and I represent the defendants in this case. Now, I understand, how long have you held your current position? How just, long? Just over 15 years. 15 years. And I take it that your position called, requires you to be um, in downtown Keene, um, basically from nine to three, five days a week? Eight. Eight, eight. to three, okay. And, and I take it you must know quite a, quite a lot of local people at this point? Yes. And I take it that it's not uncommon as part of your job that people, um, local people come up to you and engage in conversation? That's correct. And sometimes that when they engage in conversation with you, they may be within a couple, you know, body length away from you or fairly close to you. That's not uncommon. No, that's not uncommon. And, and I take it that you have no objection to that type of interaction. That's correct. Objection, Your Honor. Basis? What does, he, what does he mean by no objection? Can you clarify the question? You mean by the word objection? Could you restate the question? Yeah. Do you, ha do you have any objection to, the, to when somebody comes up to you just to engage in social conversation in downtown Keene while you're working? Is that a problem for you? No, because I know these people. And the... Your Honor, if I may, before we continue, are we talking about events between October 2013 now and 2015? Well, Your Honor, I'm, I'm trying to... I, I think that's a fair... That's a fair uh, point that the, the hearing is limited to events that have taken place from October 1st of 2013 to the present. Right, but but I, I well, it, it is, I mean, let's, let's just ask about the last two years. Is it the case that from time to time, people in downtown Keene, putting aside that any of the defendants come up to you and engage in conversation? Of course they do, yeah. That's a fairly standard part of your work day, correct? I would say so. And they often would come up fairly close to you so you can hear what they're saying and they can hear what you're saying, correct? Correct. And that's not, in itself, that's not a problem, correct? No. And there's no, you don't have any sort of type work rule or policy or ordinance or anything else that prevents people from talking to you while you're working? No. Now, with respect to the conversations that you have described as having with people from the Robin Hood group, and perhaps conversation is the wrong word, might sounds like the fairly one-sided one to some degree, but what you're objecting to what they're saying to you, is that true? Yes, in part. Okay. okay. And, um, You testified earlier that you felt um, that you, make sure I get your testimony accurately. Do 
I understand correctly that it's your opinion or your feeling that what's being said to you by um, at least Mr. Friedman is offensive? Offensive? I feel it's delivered to intimidate. Well, putting aside what Mr. Freeman's intention may be, do you find that, I mean, we, we heard the video, we heard what he said to you. Did you find that to be intimidating, what he said? Yes. So that was, that was intimidating to you? Yes. And why was it intimidating to you? I guess it would be the tone and the way that it's delivered. So there was something about his... In the objection, I mean, in the object of why he's doing that, that I'm thinking of all the time this is going on, and it's not the first time, and I can almost understand what's going to happen next. I can see it coming before me, and, and that's the part that bothers me. Now, you have... Um If Mr. Freeman came up to you um, to talk to you about the weather, would that be intimidating to you? I, I wouldn't. I, when I see Mr. Freeman, I, I want to cross the street. Ask you a question, street. please. If Mr. Freeman came up to you and just engaged in you about the weather, would that be intimidating? Yes. So at this point, it doesn't matter what he does or what he says, but you regard his presence as being intimidating. Right, because of the former things that have been said and actions done. Now, in terms of this document, which I think we've marked as, as Exhibit 2 for um, identification, which is the Officer Time Gap Report, and I take it that's a document you fill out every day? We print it out every day. So it, it's produced every day, but only some day. Do, do you write hand notations on it every day or not? Yes. So even on the dates that we don't have, we only have a relatively small selection of dates here, but even on the other dates, you would have a handwritten notation. Right. Now, did you have any part in the, in the selection of which, pe which pages were selected and which pages were not selected? Um. If counsel would approach. Yeah.